Introducing the all new Corolla. The Port Authority of Guam in its motion for dismissal says the Civil Service Commission now lacks jurisdiction to preside over an appeal case filed by former Port Marketing Manager Bernadette Stern Menno. It cites a section in law which states that all actions taken by the commission shall be taken within 180 calendar days after the personal action or complaint is filed with the commission. Menno was fired on December 18, 2012. She then filed an appeal on January 4, 2013. According to Port's attorney John Bell, by the time the Civil Service Commission hears Menno's case scheduled for May 8, 2014, 506 days will have passed. Menno's attorney, Curtis Vandeveld, however, says Bell is reading the law incorrectly. The commission, once it got the employee's notice of appeal, would be responsible to conduct an investigation, not a hearing. Mm -hmm. And then the commission would have to issue a proposed notice of what it intends to do relative to that uh, adverse action that was appealed by the employee. And within 10 days, management would have to respond in writing. That historically has never been done. In fact, says Vandeville, the types of cases this specific section of the law is intended to apply to are cases involving whistleblower complaints, post audits, and creation of rules and regs inconsistent with the Commission's approved regulations. That's the kind of action that it pertains to. So, then the matter would go uh, the action would have to be completed within 180 calendar days. Menno was fired along with six other Port Authority employees back in December 2012 for allegedly falsifying a workers' compensation report to try and deceive the government out of thousands of dollars. That workers' compensation stems from a slip and fall Menno suffered at the port bathroom in September of 2011. Meanwhile, Vandeveld explains that a different section of the law should apply to Meadows' case, and that is that port management has 60 days to file a final notice of adverse action against an employee. Once the employee files an appeal with a civil service commission... It then provides in the uh, fourth paragraph of section 4406, the commission or appropriate entity shall then set the matter for hearing as expeditiously as possible. Now. This is a hearing, not an investigation. The time limit is provided for in Section 4406. It's as expeditiously as possible. If the legislature wanted to impose the 180-day requirement that's in 4403, mm -hmm. it could have done so. It clearly knew how to do so because it did so in Section 4403D. Mm -hmm. It chose not to include that time limitation.